Hey guys, today let's discuss Azure Storage Account. So we will discuss what it is and why we should use it. And then we will have a quick overview about Azure Storage Types. And these are Blob, File Share, Table Storage and Queue. So guys, in this video, we'll just have a quick overview and we will discuss these storage types in detail in our upcoming videos. And now let's discuss what is storage account and why we should use it. So guys, in simple words, Azure storage account is used to store files, attachments, images, videos, documents, config files, exe files, etc. And these are known as blobs. Okay, great. But then you might be having question why we should use Azure storage account and why we should not use our on premise storage, right? So the reasons are, so first when we use on premise data storage, infrastructure and networking, we have to manage on our own. But when we use Azure storage account, Azure does it or Azure manages it for us behind the scene. Then Azure storage account, it is secure and not everybody can connect or access the storage account or the files or blobs within that storage account. So basically we have something called keys that is access keys using which we can connect to the storage account. If you don't have an access key, we cannot access that storage account. And even the better solution is Microsoft intra authentication. So guys, Microsoft provides us Microsoft intra authentication that is Microsoft AD authentication. So that means only the users or the applications from that Microsoft intra or Microsoft AD, only those can access our storage account. So guys, we can use access keys to connect to our Azure storage account, but even the better solution is Microsoft intra authentication. But again, it depends on our requirement. Now guys, even if you are not getting what is access keys and Microsoft intra authentication, don't worry, we will anyway cover it in detail. But basically, Azure storage account, it is secure. Then Azure storage account, it provides high performance. And then the fourth is high availability. So basically, Azure storage account, it is highly available and it provides us geo replication feature. So what it means is, let's say our primary storage account has been created in one in region one and let's say that region one goes down. So we can still replicate our storage account data in secondary region. So let's say our primary region goes down. We still have a replica of our data available in region two. Now these are some basic reasons why we should use Azure storage account. And now let's have a quick overview of Azure storage types. So the first one is blob. So in simple words, consider blob as objects like images, videos, attachments, PDFs, exe files, etc. That is, this is unstructured data. Then we have file share. So again, it is file share. For example, let's say that file share, it is accessed by multiple VMs. So I know guys, you might not be getting at this point, what is exactly this file share. So don't worry, we'll anyway cover in detail in our upcoming videos. And again, this is just an overview. Then we have table storage. Now in simple words, consider table storage. It is something similar to Azure Cosmos DB. That is, it is used to store structured non-relational data. And, and again, we will discuss it in detail in our upcoming videos. And then finally, we have queue storage and queue storage is used for asynchronous messaging between different components of our application or for asynchronous messaging in between different applications. So again, queue, it provides decoupling. So that's it guys for this video. Thanks. Thanks for listening.